Nobody else is fighting for them, so honestly, shouldn't be this much of an issue. How are we talking conscripts? I don't know if I'll ever buy another Paradox game after this. Hello and welcome to another episode of Eviolator's Game Shack. Um, this episode's going to be a little different. Uh, I want to talk about this game. Uh, Victoria 3 released on the 25th of October. And it was a very sobering experience to um, say the least. Uh, Paradox really, really let us down. Um, charging an arm and a leg for this game, which I understand costs money to you know, run a game company as big as they're getting. But, um, yeah, this, this game, it's full of bugs. It is the buggiest uh, I've seen a Paradox game. Like, I've seen a lot of buggy games, but this is one of the buggiest. So, you play until about 1880, and everything just slows to a crawl. It doesn't matter if you're on two speed, one speed. It just slows down. And there's crashes. Um, events don't proct properly. Like, Congo River, any expedition uh, or mapping the American West Frontier, near impossible to complete because either they fail or nothing prompts. So, like, you... You can't build the Suez. You can't build the Panama Canal. Um, and if you do end up getting it, that it it's really hard. I've done it, but it's really, really, really hard. We're going to start with Russia today. Um, I'm hoping I can play until, you know, forever. But who knows? So I'm going to start with establishing colonies over here so America doesn't take it. Not going to spend it here because we'll start just keep taking this and hopefully we'll start a war with these. Fellers, we can do an interest. So I want to be interested in the Middle East. And I suppose we'll go with China. So Russia at the beginning is... Um, super undervalued with the taxation capacity, which is going to be a problem for many years to come. But, we can't really solve it right away because there won't be enough people to work there because our literacy is so low that people in those types of jobs can't. Um, I guess I'll go over the basics with you guys. Um, yeah. So we got bureaucracy. Um, you use this for your laws in your politics and your institutions. We'll go over that. Uh, your authority, which is super duper important. So we're going to go over to our budget. We're making 10,000. We're going to need more money. So I'm just going to give a flat, flat service tax. And we're going to bump up to iron frame building because we want to build faster than everybody else. And we'll go with high taxation. That's going to piss a lot of people off, but that's what I've been doing. So I still got a bunch of authority left, which you use for your taxes here, or you can use for decrees. I think there's something else you can use it for. And these also give bonuses. So it gives 1% excess bureaucracy. It gives me 0.1 state construction efficiency. So your construction efficiency is how much quicker you can um, build. But uh, yeah, anyways, authority. It gives you enactment time. So minus 20.9% enactment time, which is great, but we're going to be spending some of this. So we want to do social mobility in Negra, Moscow. And then I want to do... Encourage agriculture in Kiev. And then we're going to promote our national values down here. And we'll start with the Greater Caucus. So we have 18 left. Which will probably go up because I think I'm going to enact some laws that 
will um, will give me more authority. Anyways, influence. Influence is about how much you can spend influencing other nations. So I'm going to start with Great Britain. going to improve. We're going to improve with France. And let's see, is Austria? Austria's happy with me. So is Prussia. Okay. So we're going to improve both. All right. So I still get a 8.1% infamy decay. And we'll talk about infamy when I declare a war, which I'll do right away. And then here's your budget. Um, you can go through each individual widget. Um, it's pretty easy. You just want to balance the books and continuously to balance the books through this UI right here. Um, if you lower these or raise these, it'll piss off uh, the intelligence and the petite bourgeoisie. And uh, this is for the armed forces. We'll go over those tabs in a hot minute. This is who's making what, where your costs are coming from. So, you know, Moscow and Inegra, which are is my capital, where St. Petersburg is. Um, they cost more money because there's more production. Whereas I'm making money down here in Tivir and Solmonk. Let's see. I'm going to butcher these names. Solmonsk, whatever. So, uh, so if I go here into the building tab, you can see that I'm making 11 per year off my food, 15 off logging, rye, and there's a barracks there. So that's what's costing us the money. Uh, we'll go over our army in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I've done all of those things. My GDP is gross domestic product, so it's everything that I'm making and my treasury. Um, it's at 47.8 million, which we'll get that up pretty quickly. Uh, we'll probably lag behind. You can see right here, we'll probably lag behind Austria and Prussia for a bit, but... Uh, that's okay. So literacy is super duper important. Um, you got your innovation. So that's how much um, like tech points you create every single week. Um, we'll go into our at research in a couple of minutes. Um, and then there's the literacy rate, which causes technology spread. So this is super duper important. This is how the rest of the world is going to beat me. Because, um, say, great king, uh, Quinn, Quing, whatever, king, I don't know. Um, they have 22%, which is pretty low. But then the states, they have 45% literacy. So that means whatever Mexico, Hudson Bay Company, Lower Canada, uh, Cuba, Great Britain, just whatever they're researching and they research, it'll just bleed into the country. And um, super important if you want a really strong army right away or stuff like that. Then we got our standard of living. Um, you can see where it's green and red. Uh, let's see, Inegra is the only place where people really live well, that and Lev Latvia. So everybody up here, they kind of live like shit because it's serfdom. And if you go to the population, we got... Uh, Peasants, 1.6 million peasants in this, in Purim alone, which uh, schools will definitely help us get out of. We're going to work on our peasantry right away. Um, I'll go over my tabs here. So anything like essential to deal with, you want to come up to here and deal with it. So we got 12 battalions in reserve. Russian HQ. So, let's see. Who's in the Russian HQ? This fella. He's fully pinned. So, I guess we will get a general. What do we have here? Persistent, open terrain, supply requisition. Arrogant, surveyor. Hmm. Well, we're going to go with persistent because he's not arrogant. Arrogance is folly, in my opinion. Um, opium addicts suck. Just, you know, all the bad traits are just bad. So, 
our infamy, if you click your little flag here, whatever country you are, you go to your information tab. You got your infamy down here. I'm at zero, of course, but this is going to go up. So we're going to go make puppet. That's going to give us 33.8 infamy. And it's probably going to send either Prussia, France, or Britain into the war. So let's puppet them up. And we're going to mobilize all of our generals. It's going to cost 33000 per week. And then we're going to try and be gentle with it. Kursk, so what is this down here? So this is one area. So every time you activate conscripts... All right, let's go back. Sorry. So mobilize all my generals. They each have an HQ, as you can see. And they all get mobilized from each region. So they all have to travel from the region to the region they need to go to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to conscript a couple from the Russian HQ, the Baltics, and uh, yeah, Dinapir, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, so we'll go 25 extra conscripts. We'll go all of them. Um, and then we'll just go Moscow. We'll come down to the Caucasus, see what we got. Not much. I got an eight here, so we'll get an eight. And then we'll activate Samara. So hopefully that's everybody will need. Um, and then again, battle's really, really simple in this game. All you need to do is you just come over to your army tab, which is your military down here. And I'm just going to take advanced front with my two biggest armies. And then everybody else is just going to defend. What they can. And then I think there's... Oops. No, don't promote him. See, let's defend this, because they might be up there. And then we'll take the... Hopefully this is the last 10. Yes. Okay. So all of our armies are going to move here. And we started our diplomatic play. So we have... Norway defending. Um, France and Britain and Prussia are all going to go to war with me. So this is going to be brutal, actually. So I'm going to go back to my conscription and get all the big guys. All right. And then I'm going to go over to my market here, see what trade routes I do have. And I definitely am going to need more tools. So let's get tools from the China. And we're going to get artillery uh, from Egypt and the Dutch market. We're probably going to get raided there. So that's why Egypt's good to have too. And then we'll go small arms. So we'll go details. Back to the top, to military, small arms. I'm the number one producer worldwide, so that's great. But we're going to offset it with some Egyptian guns, too. Okay. So, my navy... So, you go back to your military tab over here. And go into the navy. And we're going to do a naval invasion on the big guys as soon as possible. But for now going to patrol my coast with everything I got. All right, military is all set up for the war. We still haven't done any of the building, so we'll get to that. So the budget's pretty much fucked. We have in assets, we have 4.78 million. We're probably going to be in a deficit of 10 to 20,000, so uh, like 20 months. We'll have like 20 months of reserves. So that's that's not great. But that's what we're going to do. 
Um, this is a new update, so this might not even work. But let's try it anyways. So we're going to our construction sector, and we only have 24, and I think it'll probably be bumped up to maybe 30-something? So let's burn some of our economy. No, we'll do that right afterwards. So we're going to go into our trade tab, and we're going to start with logging camps, because we're the number one producer of lumber, and we want to keep it that way. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do six lumber. And we're going to need lots and lots of coal. We have no coal mines, which is crazy, but there's some in Moscow. Interesting. Not enough qualified people, apparently, but we're going to build them anyway. So one, two, three. All right. And then we want to upgrade our iron because we're going to need lots and lots of iron. Um, Armenia, that's going to be a problem child, so maybe go over here, go to the last one, which is iron mines in Armenia, we'll get rid of that, and we'll go back to iron mines, Caucasus, we'll go with Samara, the two in Samara, and then we'll upgrade those. And then we're going to go to our food. We're going to go down to our food belt down here. We're just going to upgrade the Ukrainian region. This is the biggest reason why Russia wants Ukraine back. is because this is literally the breadbasket of fucking Europe. Um, has some of the most prime growing lands in the world. And it was heavily developed back in um, the Russian Tsar time. So this is where all your notifications come up. They come up, they don't make like much sound. They're kind of annoying, and I'm pretty sure they slow the game down. Anyways, here's the other tabs. There's radicals, which they're gonna grow in number. 88 already, so that's good. And then our loyalists, which will grow slowly. So let's go to our active research. Um, gonna look at society first. Uh, Banking. Banking is a good idea to start with. So is the stock exchange, but I think we'll get that pretty quickly. Uh, most of the world is going to want banking. Most of the world has lades already, so 21 months each. We're going to go with banking right away. And then we're going to start thinking about getting percussion caps as soon as possible, because this will allow us to build munitions plants. And munitions plants are extremely good. General staff is also extremely important, so we can upgrade our infantry, which most of the world has. We just have numbers on our side, so we should be able to kick some ass. Uh, all right, so we got all of this queued up 182 weeks, which will shorten it pretty quickly after the war. Um, Go through the buildings tab real quick. So this is, yeah, this is where your your um, construction queue is. But we'll go over to our development. Uh, this is really important. I didn't learn this for quite some time. These tabs run your country pretty much. This is what your entire economy is based off of. Um, my army is only does line. Uh, we're going to upgrade a skirmish as soon as possible, but we need lots of munitions, so that's going to cost a pretty penny. Uh, conscripts. Uh, we cannot do skirmish because we have peasant uh, infantry. We can also not have any artillery support, which is going to allow us to lose lots of wars. And then your ports are important. Um, you can change them from you know anchorage to cargo ports. Um, I'm just going to leave everything as is. And then your rule, which is all your peasant stuff. So your farms, camps, your mines. Um, you can change to like nitroglycerin, dynamite when you unlock the text. Just keep track of what text you unlock. And then there's subsistence farming, which is what serfdom and slavery brings to the table. Um, it produces goods, as you can see. Um, 
I definitely don't like it because it doesn't produce the amount of goods that you can get out of logging camps. Like you get 0 0.05 per level, whereas per level you get 40 wood, right? Um, are we doing all hardwood? Huh. Well, I'm going to change this into softwood production. And I'm going to change breast as well into softwood production. Which is going to damage our economy, but in the long run it should um, really soften the blow in our construction costs. But uh, yeah, there's all of these buttons I'd recommend looking through them. There's little icons that show up when you have new text, so you can quickly go through them, but still pretty confusing. And then all your urban industries, which don't usually generate you money unless you're like a big producer. Um, they help offset costs and get people out of the out of peasantry. Um, yeah, we're gonna get steel tools as soon as possible. We're using pig iron right now, which um, yeah, we're just behind in the times. Uh, I'm gonna spend most of my time taking the Middle East here and um, just bringing everybody out of poverty practically, like. This right here, standard of living, I'm going to try and bring it up into, you know, 11, maybe 15 if I can. But, uh, yeah, those are those tabs. And we'll go through politics in a minute because that's a really big one. Um, first, we'll go through di diplomacy. This is where you can declare different interests as well when you don't, when you want to change your interests, when you don't have it on here in this tab. Um, you can see what's going on. I owe an obligation to Greece. Uh, Finland and I have a PU, which is personal union. Uh, the Ottomans are our rivals. Um, soon to be, everybody's going to hate us because we're going to grow in size so, so powerful that we're just going to dominate this entire market here. Um, okay. Have we gone through everything? Low market access, Hokido, Ural. Yeah, we'll figure that out with the railroad whenever we do end up implementing the railroad. Um, sufficient taxation capacity, that's a later problem. And expensive government goods. This is why we're offsetting tools from China because they're so expensive in my country for some, because I think I'm upgrading. Whoops, we'll go through this in a second. Yeah, because I've upgraded my construction sector, it takes tools. So we'll go to the budget, come to construction goods. This is wooden buildings, so all it takes is fabric and wood. And uh, But then when you go to iron frames, you got tools, fabric, wood, and iron. Um, more jobs, though. Um, people are more likely to go into university, which we will be building. More of those as well. So we'll go through the politics. Uh, this is your leader. Um, we don't have elections here in this country. So we have a Sardom. Um, uh, resides with the Tsar or Tsarina. Uh, we have Tsar Nikolai Romanov. Uh, he's arrogant. And he's a diplomat. He is part of the Gentry Assembly, which has 42% of all the clout in Russia. And our heir is Alexander Romanov. He's also a traditionalist. So they're happy right now. The church is happy. Oh, there we go. Intelligistas. Intelligenistas. There we go. I did it. We were suppressing them, so their clout goes down. We now have an extra 200 authority with non-suppression. So what I want to do is I want to promote. Hmm. First, I want to reform my government. I want armed forces and the industrialists in here. Confirm. Brings my legitimacy down, but that's fine once they start getting more clout. We're going to suppress the Orthodox Church. That's what we'll do. Because, well, 
I mean, religion really is slowing down progress. So now we can enact professional army, which is going to cost a lot of money. Um, <coughs> I would rather have national militia, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, we're going to start with a dedicated police force. It's going to help. Let's see. No, it's going to uh, d decimate the radicals. And whatever turmoil I have, it'll give me a 15% debuff on turmoil. So that's nice. And then we'll hop over here to our institutions. By the way, just go through each one of these and see what kind of laws there are. You cannot change the laws like you want to. You have to make sure they have a uh, success rating. So the Gentry Assembly and the Armed Forces both want it. And it has a high chance of advancement. So it'll create a bigger success rating. Uh, most likely, this will succeed right away. Um, but with your government, it all depends on who's in here to what laws you can do. And then your bureaucracy points are really important when it comes to institutions. You can upgrade them. We can't afford any of them. We probably won't be able to afford any of them for quite some time, which is okay. Um, as you can see, I really love these paradox games i've spent a lot of time learning how to play them and um, again they really really let us down with this iteration of victoria i'm excited to see what's in the future but at this moment don't buy it um don't pay full price um yeah and when their dlc comes out if they're charging us 32 bucks for it i'm gonna be livid um they uh they're really fucking us these days. Like, how much money is it to get a full version of Stellaris or Europa Universalis right now? Like, hundreds and hundreds of dollars? They're like, just get a subscription. Like, wow. And it's like, I don't want to spend $13 a month on a game. Why, why does anybody want to spend $13 a month on a game? Um, I mean, Game Pass and PS Plus are different because they give you many games. But subscription fees on just regular old games is just fucking bullshit. Uh, we'll go through the cultures tab real quick. We're Russian. Uh, we have national supremacy. So we consistently um, treat everybody else like shit. So we have Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarus Belarusian. Um, they're all treated very well. Everybody else is treated like a bag of shit. Um... They're going to migrate as soon as they can, as soon as they find a better country. Um, church and state, we have state religion, which means uh, we're a theocracy, um, a theocratic, uh, authoritarian dictatorship, pretty much. So just like what, um, you know, courts are doing, they're making laws, religious laws, and they're forcing people that aren't part of that religion to uh, follow it because as you can see we have animists, Catholics, uh, Galug Galugbas, Jewish, uh, Mayan, Orientals, Protestants, Shiite, and Sunnis. So we discriminate against everybody. And that's going to cause lots of turmoil. But, uh, yeah, so that's the cultures, and you can see it there. Population. Uh, my most populated is Kiev, because there's the most food. And uh, lots of people work the fields. All right. Uh, last but not least, go to your journal. Oh, I don't have any active journal entries. Well, that's probably a glitch or a bug. Another new, new, a new bug. Good. So let's play. We're just at normal speed. We're going to monitor this. They're fearful. Let's see, what am I at? I'm infamous. So more than likely, we're going to have... 
these guys join the war. Hopefully not all of them. Because if it's all of them, I might might not succeed. So as our conscripts change and our national expenses change for our construction goods, our budget changes. So we're still in the green. That's good. There's our journal. So I'm going to pin all of these to my bar. Patronize romance. Uh, I need an art academy and have traditional art. Uh, urbanize Russia. That won't happen for a long time. And uh, we'll have 30 years of the monarchy. At least. Let's see, what are we at? So France joined. The industrialists will get pissed. Um, yeah, fuck the industrialists. We'll have to we have to change the army. Okay, so Britain was like... Oh, sweet. France is in, so Britain wants in. Uh, Dominion. No. Subjugate. Sweden. Treaty port. There we go. Uh, Normandy. Brittany. Cardi. Whoa. See if they want one in Brittany. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> so once we have Britain on our side, I'm going to try and steal Norway as well. Oh, fuck. There's Prussia. All right. So... Gonna need to take Hmm. Let's take this big guy, Alexander Chernoff. Chernishoff? I don't know. Just a butcher. And we're gonna go defend this front. And then we're gonna take these guys. Let's see. Direct woodland. I think this is all woodland. And we're going to advance the front down here. So if I can punish Prussia right away. I'm going to add a war goal. I want war reparations from Prussia. Oh, this is going to be a really big war right away. Let's see. Let's do a grain tax and piss more people off. Oh, that's cool. Radicals are out of control, but loyalists are getting up there pretty quickly too. It's uh, different compared to the last time. By now, I would only have maybe a couple thousand loyalists, and it'd be at like the same with radicals. So government... We'll stop suppressing. Let's see, we'll get rid of the liquor tax. Oh, damn. We'll just do liquor. And luxury furniture. And wine. Let's see, we got 18 up here. Defensive stratus at just. Persistence. Brave artillery. Okay, we'll put you on the attack. Let's see, what are you? Persistent, open terrain. It's not going to help much. Mountains, perfect. We'll advance you on that front. How many days? Okay, a couple days out. Now, I don't know if the um, AI can uh, invade through the Navy. So far, I haven't been impressed. Uh, I've been stuck in a, in a war for 
decades and decades because Britain wouldn't invade me. And I didn't have anybody strong enough to invade them. Or it was glitched out and it just wasn't using the full might of my army when I was invading. I don't know. Again, this game is super broken. I don't recommend buying it for full price. Uh, Paradox, you really got to get your shit together. Because it's really not fair to us. Let's spend all of this damn money on these damn games. I got my allies here. 120? Holy shit. I guess that's Britain. They're confident. So, that's not good. We lose all of Finland if we lose this war. Which, if it happens, it's fine. I'll just continue this playthrough. Um, yeah. Oh, we're hemorrhaging money good now. But it's definitely offset, so that's good. Um, growing radicals pretty quickly. Just fine. You can have millions and millions of them, and it doesn't seem to matter too much except for the turmoil. All right, away we go. Shit. All right, let's attack. What do we got? A four and a five? Now we got Britain. What do we got for Britain, though? Ooh, it's better. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose. Maybe? Now we're losing troops faster. Okay, we got eight, but are they stronger? No, we're gonna make an advance. So that's good. And what do we got here? Poor visibility. We're probably going to break here. Yeah, so we won't gain ground here. We're going to gain ground here, and we won't gain ground here. It's a start. Um, I think war's okay in this game. Uh, at the same time, I don't like it, if that makes sense. After this battle, we're going to try and invade Prussia. Or maybe even France. I know for a fact they have reserves right now. No, okay, so if I think France just sent out its reserves. So we'll have a chance to probably invade. Great, they're pissed off. So again, read through those tabs. I mean, I've already read most of them, so I know... What's going on? This isn't really supposed to be a tutorial. I just kind of gave you a tutorial because, well, you know. Damn, I missed that. We got lost. Good. Unhealthy economy. That's fine. Okay, so France, yeah, it's all inactive. Unproductive. That's great. Do I have any input good shortages? No, but. 
definitely use some more guns. Take it from the Austrians, because it requires no boats. Alright, we're going to lose that. Can I get a naval invasion? Yes, I can. And after this attack, we're going to defend. Hopefully we'll knock France out of the war pretty quickly. God damn, they're going to take their property back. The good thing is, is my war support will stay higher because we're less educated. And uh, war is Russia's business. Again, they're not very good at it. but they consistently do it. Okay. So we got, he's about to invade. We're gonna protect our convoys with our ships just because, 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 because. France and Prussia sinking the shit out of our ships. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Britain. Got 18 days. I don't know what mobilization we're at, so it could be much, much longer. Um, probably will be longer. Uh, we are now hemorrhaging money. this Britain KK oh good they're taking land that's not good because France has its major force sitting here in Sweden but uh Discourage substance farming. Okay, do that as much as possible, in my opinion. Um, it's going to piss off the bourgeoisie and, like, the landowners, but fuck them. Um, because if the landowners are making money and you're not, then it's not really worth it. All right, we got a new general, new army. Not even going to bother with it. Yeah, see, we're mobilizing 99%. Shit. <coughs> so it is quintessential that we start taking some ports or start taking some land from France and get them knocked out as soon as possible. Otherwise... They're going to win the war. Because, yeah, I'm at a 1.3 negative already, and they're at a 0 0.49. So now it's just a matter of time for them if I don't get going. Come on, mobilization. All right. gonna keep dropping down to like 97 percent and then go back up to 98 99 until it's finally at 100 we might lose this war before that the majority of the time ever since um this game started i um i've been doing this this has been my plan with russia is puppet sweden and then norway comes along with it Usually only Prussia or only France uh, joins in the war. Apparently, I'm, I'm going to go fuck myself today. Come on. So yeah, be careful. 
about conscripting because every time you get a new unit, um, your mobilization goes down. And when your mobilization goes down, you can't invade. Um, there's no button to just go invade now because this game is um, it's kind of dumb. It's very pretty. I'll give it that. They spent a lot of time polishing, polishing the crap out of it. But like, it's like a polished turd, though. So like, sure you can keep polishing it, but like you can it's still a turd, right? Oh, that's not good. Okay, I need reinforcements down here. ASAP. If he doesn't invade, oh my god, I'm gonna speed the game up. Disappearing interest, that's good. Oh. Let's tolerate the secret societies of the intelligentistas. Intelligentistas. Okay, we have the police force. Costs. At least 15,000, but it's going to help lower radicals in descent. Arming the natives. Sure. That's a weird proct. I haven't seen that yet. Oh my god, I'm just getting annihilated. There we go! We did it! Fuck you, France. France is fucked now. Oh, come on. Point three two, one point five. Shit. See, this is the difference between a conscript army. Yeah, see, look at this line. This line of army. That's, that's why they beat us. I just have to defend. That's all I can do. Oh, we broke. We broke through. Screw you guys. Okay. Trade agreement. Oh, it's going to cost me so much money if I do that. No, thank you. I lost a declared interest. So I scroll down, pick that. We want that again. Because I really want all of this. And we're going to try attacking again. Might wear them down. What is going on? Russia used to be just a tank. You could take territory. You could. Huh. Well, that's no good to me. Yeah, see, banking, or no, I clicked banking. Never mind, I thought that was bleed over. Okay, we're going to do the lathe because it's almost done. Three to five months. That offset our economy troubles a little bit. There is no fucking way I'm going to be able to beat them any more than I already have. That's great.
Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Then we want this. Are you serious? This is not the time, Kazakh. Oh my god. Great Britain capitulated? What? No, 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 no. Okay. Got the lathe. So I'm gonna go back to military. Yeah. And we're gonna work on percussion caps because I need to. Oh my god. It's gonna be a couple days. Maybe I can weasel my way into some white piece. Probably not. Capitulation. Well, my plan didn't work. So definitely don't follow what I just did. Or try it. Could, could happen again. So we're at war. With these guys again, it'll be a quick one because they're just tribals. And as I say that, I'm getting pounded because I'm all conscripted up. Nobody else is fighting for them, so this honestly shouldn't be this much of an issue. Probably because I'm conscripted. Well, that's all she wrote. Game just crashed all of a sudden, like it has kept doing. I have never seen it crash like that. Um, brand new update came out today, so um, really not fucking impressed with you guys over at Paradox. Um, maybe you guys should stop spending so much time uh, making all of this art and uh, these fancy buttons and make a game that works like you used to. Um, Victoria 2 works just fine um yeah uh, i don't know if i'll ever buy another paradox game after this 